Good morning, Summit. This is Edward. You know this guy, Jake. This is your weekly update coming at you right now. Jake, I've got a question for you. Over the last few weeks, you've been signed to be more like Jesus. Yep. You quit ironing your shirts. Yep. Um, oh, my, look at my shorts today. They're, they're okay. What, and what was that other thing you stopped Well, doing? I tried deodor not wearing deodorant. That only lasted for two days. Yeah, did Ashley put the kibosh on that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what are you doing this week? I, I'm just curious. I've been thinking about it all morning. Have you? Thinking, yeah. Well, it's interesting you bring that up because you know what today is, don't you? What is it? Today is Thursday. Thursday is my favorite day of the week because... Because you, you get to see me. No. Because yeah. you and I work on Sundays. See, a lot of people don't realize this. We work Sunday through Thursday. We get Friday and Saturday off. So this is like my last work day of the this week. This is like your Friday. I look, yes, I look forward to Thursdays. It's my favorite day of the week. And I woke up in a good mood this morning. Joy in my heart. It, it reminded me of Psalm 30, all right? At the very end of Psalm 30, where he talks about... Um, for his anger is short for a moment, but his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes in the morning. In the morning. And so I started thinking about this. And I'm glad you brought that up because I want to make a new commitment today. I want to be this joyful, not just on Thursdays, on every day of the week. And so I'm going to make a commitment, Crouch, that nothing and nobody is going to steal my joy. See, I wake up joyful, and then Ainsley starts complaining because her ponytail's not right. Boston's griping because we don't have any more bacon for breakfast. Not going to steal my joy. Tuesday mornings when you come in staff meeting all ornery and we got to get this done. Not going to steal my joy. Okay, That's so, my so, new okay, commitment. Okay, I, I'm, I'm sorry to even Nobody's going to steal my joy I, from I'm this sorry, point Summit. forward. Sorry I even opened that can of worms. I really thought he would have something simple for us, but um, obviously there's nothing simple about this guy. Hey, we do have, uh, it's uh, Fall Festival this Sunday. Can you believe that? No, it's not this is Sunday. It not this Sunday it's or the, the 24th. Sunday? 24th. Gosh. This Sunday is the oh. third Sunday of the month. Women facing cancer, cancer yep. together yep, yep. meets this sunday after church you you need to wow. be connected with sherry sims and if you don't know sherry then you need to reach out to me and i will connect the two of yeah. you if you're facing cancer maybe you're in remission but you want to be a part of this ministry mm -hmm. this ministering to women who yeah, are facing good. cancer they meet this sunday and then the next sunday is fall festival hang on so, yeah. we gotta go in order fall festival. no order sunday morning after church membership the 24th, membership. Can y'all see the joy oozing? Then? It's like oozing out of my shoulders. I think that's B.O., but anyway. So, yeah, so sign up for membership. Me and Joe Fields teach that. And then on the 24th, that evening, Edward. Fall Festival. Is that right? Can I say it now? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, Fall Festival, hey, it's our biggest outreach of the year for families. Um, Got Darren Morris band gonna be there. Gonna have a chili sets, cook off. Chili cook off with Mike Philly. Mike Philly chili. Um, I think you made that connection a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. That joke's uh, it's, it's past. It's it. No, it's still good. No, I still use it. It's, it's so here's time. what we need, okay? Because there's gonna be probably two thousand people on our campus. Twenty thousand, maybe. Yeah. Could be 30,000, man. Could be 000. easily, easily. But there's going to be a lot of people. That's the point. So we need a couple of things. Number one, we need you to sign up for booths. And, and you, if you um, have a booth that you want to set up on your own, that's great. But we actually have booths already. We just need people we to need man We need volunteers those. to man the booths. Um, anybody uh, from teenagers on up. It's so easy those. a caveman could do I'm it. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. We also need items for the cakewalk. You want to talk about that? Because you were really excited about that while ago. That was a little it's plug fun. for Geico. Hey, yeah, we need some items. So if you like to bake cookies or bake cupcakes or bake uh, muffins, any of the stuff that I'm not allowed to eat right now, uh, you can put some cookies in a Ziploc bag, a couple of cupcakes in a Ziploc bag, some brownies in a Ziploc bag, and you can bring those up that Sunday the 24th. So we'll have baked good items Do for they a have cakewalk. To be homemade? Do they have to they be don't homemade? have to be, but come on. We're putting forth our best effort here. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you something. Those little brownies you get, those little brownie bites you get at Brookshire's, dude, I'm, both Listen, things are good. Listen, any church in America can go to a grocery store and buy but some still, stuff. Those little this brownie is Summit bites. Heights those, Fellowship. They're good. Hey, we're bringing the baked goods. Baked goods, store bought, or you do it. We need them. It'll help us uh, and then, run that booth. The last thing we need is a tattoo artist. 
No, it's face paint. Face paint. Sorry, we need somebody that can do face paint. <laughs> I, I almost brought some paint out here and I was just gonna shoot you with paint or something and just You're not that, stealing so. you're not stealing my joy. I know, I wish I would have because this whole joy thing for him. I can't wait until Hey, do any of you know how to do face paint? Draw on kids' faces, you know, like butterflies, listen, Superman, it have to be a Picasso. Batman. It, it doesn't have to be a Picasso. Anything like that. So, we need you. So I took Springer when he was younger to a, a fall festival at a, another church, and he got he wanted his face painted. And so the lady asked him, "What do you want on his face?" He got a blue circle. Yeah, hey, it was a blue circle. That's it. Some of that stuff you see in art galleries though that's selling for like a million dollars. That's all it is. There's like this real famous painting with just a big red circle on it. I don't, oh, I don't understand. I thought you were that going stuff. somewhere with that anyway. Yeah. Uh, hey Summit, we're excited about this Sunday. Got a cool new series starting uh, called Getting Into the Presence of God. And it's going to be uh, incredible. Jake's going to be preaching and, and just can't wait to sit under him and, and learn and see how God speaks through him this Sunday. Make sure you share this on all your platforms. Make sure you um, invite someone to come to church. We were you know, talking last night at elders meeting about one of our elders who continually invites people to his small group and to our church. Uh, let's all do that. Let's just invite somebody to come and be a part of what God's doing at Summit Heights. We love you. You got anything else? There is a very fine line between energy drinks and joy. I'm learning that. We love you, Summit. Share this on your platforms. I'll see you Sunday morning at 10 a.m.